Hi there. In last tutorial, I have discussed with you how you can create app database database app using Zoho Creator. In this tutorial, we will go ahead uh, one more step and see how we can take the data from Excel sheet or from tab separated value to create a database. So let's first delete our previous database and after that I'll just create a new one okay so our apps are displayed here so we can just click on delete and create from scratch again let's create application this time okay we have option for import file or from scratch or from application gallery let's go with the import file this time or from clipboard let's name it um, customer inquiry I change the name to customer invoices for something I just reminded that um, I can create a much better application for let's say customer invoice from our tab separated value data first is the name number in name and then file this should be one then phone should be Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then the second should be okay, so four, five, and third be. So this is our sample data. So this is our sample data and we are going to create it. We are going to give instruction to Zoho so that it can treat our consider first row as label names. So our first name has to be number then name and phone number or you can just recreate this for better visibility let's click on cancel so I have this price uh, table which I'm going to use to create app CD price app let's click on create okay now you can see that our first field is treated as label name in proper way now uh, if you compare it with our previous example now the data is sorted in a much better way because a proper tab in between the values okay so now we can click on finish and we can see the data you can do the same 
you save this data okay so if you want to add any new content here let's say album is liquid alive then liquid soul price is 2.5 bucks click on submit data is added successfully now check the report okay so our data is already added so when you go with the DSV value or let's say using Excel sheet file our application is created in a much quicker way okay so this is pretty much it for our importing of the file okay, if you want to do it for Excel sheet or let's say CSV file or TSV file you can repeat this step so go back to the point where you can create the application then you go ahead with the importing your DSU CSV file and all you have to do is follow the procedure to accept the specific row and column names once you do that you have your database app ready I hope you enjoy this tutorial if you have any questions please put them in comments so I can improve my videos I can learn something from you as well okay bye